All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vion al where Qasem Soleimani, the top general and one of the most powerful men in Iran, remember, was assassinated by the United States in a drone strike at the Baghdad airport in the wee hours of the morning on Friday. Now, there were questions as to who would replace the general, and the supreme leader of Iran, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, has now named Ismail Khani as Soleimani's successor. So who is Ismail Khani? Well, he served as the deputy of of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps or the IRGC's elite Quds Force since 1997. He's also served as Soleimani's right-hand man for more than two decades. He is one of IRGC's most decorated commanders, especially during the Iran-Iraq War from 1980 till 1988. Now, Ismail Khani was also appointed as the head of the Quds Force in Afghanistan and Pakistan. He was made the IRGC's counter-intelligence deputy in 2006. Now, Khani was instrumental in suppressing the social unrest in Mashhad in June 1992. And Soleimani's deputy Khani has a history of making hostile statements against the United States. He's also taken multiple swipes at Donald Trump. Warning in 2017 that threats against Iran will actually end up damaging only America. He's even quoted as saying that we have buried many like Trump before. And we know how to fight against America. Now, Iran's top leadership is rallying for revenge after their top general's assassination. And there are reports that Tehran is trying to identify the U.S. assets within a range to strike. But President Donald Trump has, of course, sounded a warning to Iran. If U.S. targets are, are struck, claims Trump, the response by his administration will be very fast and very hard. Now, taking to Twitter, Donald Trump accused Soleimani of having American blood on his hands. He's also addressed reports that Iran was going to target U.S. assets in West Asia. In response, Trump claims that the Americans already have got 52 Iranian targets identified. Now, these targets are reportedly high-profile and important figures of Iranian culture. The 52 Iranian targets represent the 52 Americans that reportedly Iran had held hostage after storming its embassy back in the year 1979. Any action from Iran in these 252 targets will be hit very hard and very fast according to the American president. Now, the U.S. assets in Iraq continue to remain vulnerable amidst the rising tensions after the assassination by the United States. The security sources are saying that a blast was also heard near the U.S. embassy in Baghdad. Now, some reports also say that the green zone where the embassy is located was hit by Katyusha rockets. There have been no reports of casualties. The Balad Air Force Base in Iraq was also targeted by two missiles in separate attacks. Now, the Balad Base is currently hosting U.S. troops. For Iran, Soleimani was a revered general, but the U.S. has categorically call called him as a terrorist. And the State Department has also released a few figures to support their claims. Now, the U.S. says that Soleimani was responsible for killing 603 U.S. servicemen and also maiming thousands of others. The 17 percent of the U.S. personnel deaths between 2003 and 2011 in Iraq can be attributed to the Al-Quds force. But this is what the State Department claims. The U.S. Homeland Security has also issued a low-level advisory. It has assured the public and the state government and the federal agencies are monitoring and preparing for specific threats. But within the United States, there is public anger against Trump for the escalation in West Asia. Now, more than 80 rallies were planned across the country, even in front of the White House and the Trump Hotel. Protesters have asked Trump to not repeat what happened in Iraq. In... And rallies were led by anti-war organizations in the United States. They are demanding for a withdrawal of U.S. troops from West Asia to bring down the temperature. To protect American assets in the region, the United States is 
at least it claims it is to protect U.S. interests. It is deploying 3,000 more troops and they are en route to Kuwait. But U.S. officials have indicated that even more troops could be deployed for tasks such as protection of U.S. embassies in Lebanon, where Iran-backed Hezbollah have considerable clout. Now, in Iraq and Iran, thousands of people continue to mourn the death of General Soleimani. These visuals are from the holy shrine of Imam Ali in Najaf. And also the Iraqi...